power of prayer. Pray with me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, illuminate everything I think, say, and do, so that everything is for the glory of God. Amen. How many times have I heard or said, all that remains is to pray? It seems to be our last resort. Our prayers have a lot of power. Prayer is one of the most powerful weapons we have, and it is spiritual nutrition. Prayer is a request to God, not a demand or a mandate. Prayer helps us to develop a relationship with God and to be close to Him. When we pray, we are opening our hearts to God and He can work in us and through us. Through sincere prayer, we receive confidence and peace. Praying is calling on God and it is responding to His invitations. Praying is a dialogue of love. The five main forms of prayers are blessing, adoration, petition and intersection, thanksgiving, and praise. The blessing is a prayer for which the blessing of God is requested on us. Every blessing comes solely from God, from His goodness, His closeness, and His mercy. In some countries, children are taught from an early age to ask for a blessing. Bless me daddy, bless me mommy. The most common response is, God bless you. I have practiced it through my life, especially with my dad and aunt, my godfather and godmother. I also practice it with my godchildren, nephews, siblings and friends. Asking for the blessing and giving it is a beautiful thing. It creates a spiritual bond. The adoration is a prayer that is surrendered only to God for His power, greatness, holiness, and His great divine love towards us. By worshiping God, we offer our love, reverence, service, devotion, and commitment to Him. By worshiping God, we receive a strength to obey His commandments. We grow in knowledge and faithfulness. By kneeling in front of the tabernacle, or the most holy, or at the moment of consecration, I show my respect to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The petition is a prayer for our interests. It opens us up and directs us to the origin of all good. God who knows us completely, knows what we need, and does not need our request to help us. God wants us to ask, and that in the needs of our life we turn to Him. God wants to hear from each one what we really need, want, and implore. I learned a long time ago that when asking God for something I must ask him with all the details, frequently, and I must wait with faith for God's intervention. I must insistently ask until it is unbearable. Intercession is a request for others. We belong to a spiritual family through which the power of prayer becomes effective. God loves us. He wants to do good things for us and bless those who pass through our lives. Ask and will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Matthew 7, 7. Many times I have asked for prayer for me and for people who need it. I have experienced the peace of God that is inexplicable. And I know that everyone we have prayed for has also experienced the peace of God. 
Thanksgiving is giving thanks to God. He gives us everything good and makes us happy. Everything we are and have comes from God. The greatest prayer of Thanksgiving is the Eucharistic, a word that comes from the Greek and means Thanksgiving. Jesus makes himself present in bread and wine in order to offer God all of transformed creation. Praise is a prayer of recognition of God through favorable expressions or speeches. God does not need any applause, but we need to spontaneously express our joy in God and our joy in the heart. We praise God because He exists and because He is good. We join in the everlasting praise of the angels and saints in heaven. Father, today I come to you with a very grateful heart. Your goodness and your love are infinite. Thank you for the blessings you give me every day. Father, forgive me if at any time I have offended you through those who pass through my life. I offer you the stone in my shoe that I do not like, with which it is difficult for me to live. Father, I ask you to listen to the desires of my heart. Silently, I tell God what I want. What do you want from me, Lord? Silently, I pay attention to that word that comes to mind. Father, in every moment of my life, especially the ones I fail, I will try to be a better person. Pray, persevere in prayer, and you will see the power of God in action. Thank you, Father, for everything. God is Father. God is good. Good is everything He does. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. Mother, intercede for the physical, mental, and spiritual health of the sick and for those who take care of them. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.